In this video, we will discuss about electromeric effect or E effect. Electromeric effect is a temporary effect but more powerful than inductive effect or I effect. Electromeric effect get activated only in the presence of an attacking reagent. So it is a temporary effect. But when inductive effect and electromeric effect both come into play, electromeric effect is more powerful than inductive effect. Electromeric effect dominate over inductive effect. Electromeric effect involves the transfer of pi electrons. The complete transfer of pi electrons. Electromeric effect is shown by compounds having double bond or multiple bonds. For example, alkene, carbonyl group and cyanide group. Unsaturated compounds, compounds having double bond or multiple bonds shows electromeric effect. This is shown by a curved arrow. This arrow represents electromeric effect. For example, an alkene when it is approached by a polar reagent or attacking reagent. In alkene, there is double bond. The double bond involves sigma and pi bonds. Due to the nature of pi bonding, the electrons involved are loosely bound and easily polarizable. When in the presence of an attacking reagent, the electrons of the pi bond are completely transferred to one of the constituent atom. If you Number the carbon atoms, carbon 1, carbon 2. The electrons are, the pi electrons are transferred to carbon number 2. And carbon number 1, as it loses electrons, gain positive charge. And carbon number 2, as it gains electron, are converted to negatively charged ion. There is formation of charges and this effect is called electromeric effect. Electromeric effect is the effect which involves the complete transfer of a shared pair of electrons to one of the atoms joined by a double bond or multiple bonds at the requirement of an attacking reagent. So this is a temporary effect. The effect come into play only in the presence of an attacking reagent. Attacking reagent can be an electrophile or nucleophile. Electrophiles are electron loving and they are positively charged or can be neutral. Examples are H plus, Cl plus, Br plus, R plus, alkyl group. NO plus and NO2 plus. And nucleophiles are nucleus loving. They are negatively charged 
or neutral species. Examples OH minus, Cl minus, Cn minus, NO2 minus and NS2 minus ions. There can be plus E effect or minus E effect. Positive electromeric effect or negative electromeric effect. In positive electromeric effect, transfer of pi electrons towards the attacking reagent. And in negative electromeric effect, transfer of pi electrons away from attacking reagent. Let us see some examples. Positive electromeric effect, an alkene when approached by an electrophile H plus ion. This is an electrophile carrying a positive charge. In the presence of this electrophile, the pi electrons of this bond are completely transferred to carbon number 2. The pi electrons are completely transferred to carbon number 2 and carbon number 2 gains positive negative charge and carbon number 1 as it loses electrons gain positive charge. The electrophile H plus, this is electron loving. The electrophile then attack or added to carbon number 2 which carries a negative charge. So we get this compound. And in minus E effect, negative electromeric effect, for example, a carbonyl group, C double bond O, when a cyanide group is approached, the pi electrons are completely transferred to oxygen. Because oxygen is more electronegative. Oxygen carries a negative charge and carbon carries positive charge. And then Cn minus is a nucleophile. A nucleophile is nucleus loving. So it attack carbon number. One. The pi electrons, the displacement of pi electrons is in this direction. So the nucleophile attack in the opposite direction. Nucleophile attack carbon number one, whereas the displacement of pi electrons is in the opposite direction. So this is called minus E effect. Inductive effect and electromeric effect, I effect and E effect are electron displacement effect of organic compounds. Let us compare inductive effect and electromeric effect. Inductive effect is a permanent effect whereas electromeric effect is a temporary effect. Inductive effect only in saturated compounds for example alkene whereas electromeric effect is in unsaturated compounds, compounds having double bond or multiple bonds. For inductive effect, no external reagent is required. In electromeric effect, 
external attacking reagent is required. It takes place only in the presence of a polarizing reagent or attacking reagent. It can be an electrophile or a nucleophile. In inductive effect, partial separation of charges takes place. They gain a fractional negative charge and fractional positive charge. Whereas in electromeric effect, the complete separation of charges takes place. And there is complete transfer of pi electrons. The atoms gain negative and positive charges. An inductive effect takes place only in saturated compounds, compounds having sigma bonds. An electromeric effect takes place only in the case of unsaturated compounds and transfer of pi electrons takes place. Inductive effect is shown by this arrow whereas electromeric effect is shown by a curved arrow. Thank you.